Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Today I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the free versions of OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini, just to see which one's better uh, at performing the tasks that I need them to perform. Um, okay, so to start, let's go, up, go ahead and open them both up. Chat GPT, there we go, and I will be using the free version. I'm going to be using the free version of both of these. And I'll use Google Chrome uh, for Gemini, just, you know, because it it's it's Google's product, so uh, might as well use uh, Google Chrome for Gemini. I'm using uh, Edge for Chat GPT. I generally use Edge. Um, okay, so this is Gemini. And this is ChatGPT, free version of both. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it an identical, we're going to feed identical prompts into it. So the prompt is this. Go ahead and pause the video and read it if you'd like. So here we go, pasting it into ChatGPT, and then uh, we will provide it a piece of a, um, a script for it to analyze. It will be analyzing the script from my previous video, uh, example 49. All right, now let's copy that entire prompt into Google's Gemini, paste it there, and let's just see, let's, let's test Gemini first. All right. All right, Gemini, let's go. Definitely slower than ChatGPT. Um, not by much, though. Okay, so it seemed it 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 analyzed it. I'm not going to read its analysis. We'll we'll figure out how good it is based on um, how good what the code it generates, basically. Okay, so now let's do uh, ChatGPT. So that same prompt that I put into Gemini, I am now putting into ChatGPT. Okay, yeah, it, if you want to pause and, and read the, uh, the you know, the, the outputs, uh, go ahead. All right, so now what I want it to do is this. This is my next prompt that I'm going to be feeding into it. Go ahead and pause the video and read it if you'd like. Basically, I'm just saying that I'm going to provide explanate. I wanted to create more content blocks in the same style as um, my example 49 video. All right, so copy. Basically, it should just answer this last question. Do you understand what I want? Basically, I, I'm, I want to know if it understands what I want. So let's see if Gemini understands what I want. Again, Gemini slightly so. Yeah, so that's a fail right here. Um, it did not do what I wanted it to do. Oh, let's read this prompt. I want to create more content blocks for it. I will provide you with an explanation and equation line from which to generate each new block. Only generate the code for the block without any additional. Okay, so I'm going to give it another chance. I'm going to say, you misunderstood me. Hold on, speller. Please read my prompt again. This is the prompt. Read the prompt one more time. You aren't doing what it asks. I didn't want 
you to do anything other than tell me if you understand what to do. Okay, so not super impressed. Okay, a lot of uh, a lot of companies have been making claims that um, you know their their models are better than OpenAI's. Uh, I don't believe them. Uh, well, let's just let's see what let's see what ChatGPT three ChatGPT three point five does. Perfect. Perfect and quick. So, so far, ChatGPT is blowing Gemini out of the water. Yes, I understand. Please provide the explanations and the equation lines for the additional content. Okay, let's see how well it actually generates some code. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Desmos. This is where I get my uh, explanation and equation lines from. And this is example 50 we're working on. So this is the first uh, explanation line. Let's go into, uh, well, let's see how Gemini does. All right, so there's the explanation, Gemini, and here's the equation. Okay, so it, it, it did something. It did something. So um, let's check out what uh, ChatGPT does. So I'm going to copy that. We'll go over to ChatGPT and just put it in there and see if it does the same thing. Yeah, it did pretty much the same thing. Um, so let's test ChatGPT's code. All right. So this is, I already have this pre-made uh, pre already. All I have to do is enter content blocks into it. So that's our first content block. Um, I will hit Control S. Let's go to our terminal. Admin. Yes. Um, drive. Documents. Admin. All right. So now let's see if it can compile it. This is ChatGPT's uh, content block. All right, it generated compilable code. Um, let's see um, what the video looks like. Okay, this is not the correct integral. I will change the title eventually. All right, so it compiled it. It displays correctly on the screen. So ChatGPT gets a pass. Uh, did a very good job um, the first time without any extra instructions. So let's check uh, what this guy does. All right. Get rid of that. Save it. And let's compile it. Okay, it produced compilable code. Um, and yeah, it, okay, great. Yeah, they, they both worked. Uh, chat GPT did it quicker and without, um, any errors the first time. I didn't have to re-explain what to do. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see how it handles creating multiple blocks. Um, I'll go up to the I'll go up until we get to a complicated block, uh, one that has latex and um, you know what? Let's just do the whole video. Copy. All right. Create the rest in one code box. Here. They are
All right, I'll be back when they're all copy and pasted into there. All right, so I have the entirety of the rest of the video, uh, the, the remaining content blocks pasted into there. Let's see how ChatGPT is. Well, it, it is doing it all in one code box. Let's see. Okay, so it went all the way to the end. That's good. Let's see if this compiles. Um, so let's go back to Sublime. Um, OS here and just see if this creates good code. Let's see if the code is good. Let's see if it compiles into a video. I'll be right back if it does or doesn't. All right, um, so it's finished compiling. Um, it produced a video. Let's just see what it looks like now. All right, so that's good. All right, I'm just going to go through it kind of quickly. All right, just to make sure they're all fitting on the screen, basically. Okay, that one doesn't fit on the screen. So this block doesn't fit on the screen. Um, So it did almost it did it almost perfectly, um, except it didn't. I I had asked it to make sure um, that all the content blocks fit on the screen by scaling them. There is a method for doing that within the code. Within each content block, you can specify an equation scale and a uh, explanation scale, and it did not do that uh, satisfactorily obviously, because this is not fitting on the screen. Let's see if Gemini does any better. All right, let's delete that video. Chat GPT, and this is the prompt that I used. Create the rest in one code box. Here they are. And I just give them all. That is the prompt. All right, Gemini, impress me. Well, it's it was fairly quick, and it's doing it, and it's done. Okay. Let's see if it works. Mm, I do. Okay. Uh, I can I can tell that this block is going to create an error. Um, let's look at the one. That, let's look at the one that worked. Yeah, yeah. See, it did. It forgot to use the dollar sign. It didn't do it. Um, this is definitely going to produce an error. It's not going to properly incorporate that latex formatting into this uh, explanation line. Um, and we'll verify that, of course. I'm about to, uh, let's go ahead and delete these content blocks and paste the ones that Gemini uh, put in for us. But I, I already know it's not going to work. Saved. Here we go, Gemini. As expected, uh, there's a compilation error there. Um, let's see if I can just input the error and um, have it. Let's see if it'll fix it. So, copy that, paste the error in here. All right, Gemini, fix it. Okay, uh, not impressed. Um, basically, it just told me that basically it just says there's an error. Yeah, 
I, I know there's an error. Um, I want you to fix. Find and fix the error. God to help now. See, now it's asking me to do work, and I don't like this. Um, come on. I don't want to do any work. Find the error in this code and fix it. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no good. I'm just going to tell it you are failing a comparison test. You and chat G five. It has no problem doing but no. I'll just say that. Maybe that'll kickstart it. So I know that this is the offending block. So let's, I'm going to hold its hand. Yeah, right. No. Here is the offending block. Fix it. Okay, rewrite it so it works. Let's, let's, it's not going to work. It's, it does not know what it's doing wrong. I do. I've seen enough of this, uh, um, code generated to know, um, Uh, no, this is this is also not going to work. But um, let's comment this out. Save it. And uh, pasted the. Okay, it made a little comment there. It added close parentheses. Fine. Okay. Great. Um, this is still not going to work. But I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's try it. No. Okay, so uh, basically, Gemini, I, I'm just, it's, it's a fail. Um, I'm going to have to hold its hand now and say, uh, basically, here is how it should be. Keep in mind... This was generated with chat GPT 
Okay, let's go over to ChatGPT. So, let's copy all of this, all this entire code. Delete everything here. Paste this. All right, let's see what you have to say for yourself. What do you have to say for yourself, Gemini? Now, they are... No, they aren't. Punk. I Chat keys works and yours doesn't. Notice the dollar sign. I think I think Gemini's getting butt hurt. <laughs> it's, I was gonna yes, you yes, you sir or yes. Er. Okay. Okay, am I corrected? Okay, well, it's not recommended, but it works. So, ChatGPT did what worked, and uh, Gemini did not. And I, I think it's being, I think it's getting butt hurt. I think, I think it has feelings. All right. Well. This is how you should do from now on, since it works, your way doesn't. Read. Okay, well. So, uh, obviously, I mean, you guys can all see that ChatGPT is still, I mean, it, it's, it's trouncing Gemini, like, handily. Um, but, but let's continue. Um, okay, let's go over to um, ChatGPT and, and let's tell it the mistake that it made. It made a minor, well, it's actually kind of a major mistake. It didn't produce a working video. Um, so let's go ahead and save this and compile it. This is the um, script generated by ChatGPT. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video um, while this is compiling. All right, I'm back. It's finished compiling. No errors, as expected. And I just want to find um, the one that's actually too big. So there's a uh, there's one here that does not fit on the screen. Um, that's it. Making the substitution u is equal to x over t. So we want to look for that. Um, all right. Making the substitution u. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is too big. Um, so I'm going to copy this over into ChatGPT. I'm done with you, Gemini. Um, this block doesn't fit on the... Please... 
uh, males. Should know what I'm talking about. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just if this works and produces something readable but still big enough uh, that, that will fit on the screen but still big enough to read, I'm super impressed. Okay. Um, think. Okay, yeah, we're going into Sublime, and we are deleting this, and replacing it with that. You see how it added an explanation scale and an equation scale. So let's go ahead and save that, comment out the rest, just so we can see if that block worked. Comment those out, and we'll comment, comment out the rest as well. Um, all right. All right, it created something workable. Um, perfect. Oh, well, I, I, I mean, I would like it to have been a little bit bigger. I feel like it could have been slightly bigger. Um, but it's still a pass. Um, let's just manually adjust them. It, it has a hard time with this. I'm not even ChatGPT4 has a hard time actually adjusting these things. We'll, we'll make the explanation scale still one. It didn't need to adjust that. Um, save that and see what this does. That's better. That, that'll work. Okay. All right. So that's good. Let's go ahead and um, check the rest. I believe that was the only one that didn't fit, but I'm going to just make sure. Comment, comment these out. Save it. Recompile it. This should not take long. I'm not going to bother pausing the video this time. So that, there's, that fits, that fits, that fits, 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 and all right. So now, um, okay, so now change the following title. And we're going to change the actual title of the here. So the title should be this, Evaluation. That's the actual integral we're evaluating. Now I have to tell it what title, what the title is that is being changed. The title that is changed is this. All right, so created a new title for me. Um, let's just paste that in there. Oh, it's aligned. Save it and see if this compiles. Yep. Let's just make sure the title actually fits on the screen. And then, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to test that prompt on Gemini also. Let's see if Gemini can at least make me a title. That's a fairly simple task. Um, okay, yeah, good. Awesome. All, right. All right, Gemini. ChatGPT. All right, so exact same problem. Copy. Silly. Let's see what you can do.
Wah, wah. Oh, silly. Just the line or the title. Okay. There we go. Let, let's see. Let's see. I had to. I had to uh, coach it a little bit, but let's see if it will actually produce a work. Okay, it's compiling. All right. Yeah, it did it. It required a little bit of coaching, but hey, you know what? I'll give it. Because sometimes these, you know, it does even even ChatGPT will will get stuff wrong occasionally, and you have to create uh, correct it. So you know, maybe that was just one of those times. It, it did it right though. It it got me the title pretty quickly. So good job, Gemini. All right. Let's see. What's next? Um. Well, I mean it created um workable a uh, workable video i just have to compile it into a higher uh, uh 1080p um so now i'm gonna have it do something actually math related um we're gonna open up new instances of both um And I know that ChatGPT will fail at this, at least 3.5. Uh, 4.0 would actually do a decent job of actually checking for errors in the math. ChatGPT 3.5, and I, let's just for for laughs. Uh, let's see. So, um, please correct any. Please evaluate the correctness of the math the following. Not the entire thing. The math presented in the code. I would like you to be in each step. Okay. Introduction setting up the internet. The, in the integral to be evaluated. Feynman integration is introduced as a method to be used. We define a function of t. Okay. Yeah. Good. Taking the derivative. All right, relating step seems to be correctly executed. All right. Okay. Well, yeah, it, it, and it's not really able. I, I did not expect much. Um, let's see what Gemini. I, I'll. I will allow Gemini to redeem itself. If, if it can um if it can offer some insight into what I'm actually doing here. It can do a little bit better job than what chat GPT just did. So let's do a new new chat. Okay. Evaluate the correctness of the math and the following. Alright, Gemini, let's go. This is your this is your chance, Gemini. I don't have the no I'm right do this stuff. Alright. Okay, so yeah, about Yeah, and it's basically just telling me to do it myself, just like ChatGPT. Okay, so they both fail at this part. Um 
but Gemini failed at the other part too. So uh, final verdict is, at least for now, um, you know, ChatGPT just handily beats Gemini, at least at, at this task. Now, this was a, a narrowly focused task. This was coding. Um, and, but the ChatGPT just blew it out of the water. Uh, it wasn't even close. Um, it did it quickly and correctly um, with very little correction. Gemini was not even able to do it um, without me basically showing what it should have done. I had to show it what it should have done. And then it, it almost seemed like it got butthurt and made excuses. Um, but, yeah, okay, whatever. They, you know, I, I've heard claims on the internet that Gemini is better for certain things. Maybe that's true. It's definitely not better for what I want it to do. Um, so, uh, I declare the winner to be OpenAI's ChatGPT uh, 3.5 when compared to the free version of Google's uh, Gemini AI. So anyway, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, I will be uploading the video that ChatGPT created um, probably tomorrow. All right, see you next time.